some of you may have danced before, so you know what Dance Blue is all about. You know what it feels like to rush to the second level of Memorial during bag check, to walk backwards down the incline to stretch your feet, to be brought to tears by the celebration of Life Memorial. Some of you may not have danced before, and because Dance Blue looks a little bit different this year, we want to give you a glimpse into what Dance Blue truly is, an organization which embodies what true empathy looks like full of people just like you who are dedicated to serving the kids and families suffering from pediatric cancer. If you've danced before, you've likely heard of Jarrett Minear, a smart, energetic, philanthropic young boy devoted to helping others. Jarrett ultimately lost his 11-year battle with Ewing sarcoma in 2002, but his legacy lives on in countless ways, including through his mother Jennifer, one of Dance Blue's founders and biggest supporters, his very own philanthropic organization, Jarrett's Joy Cart, and through dancers like you who continue to support and proliferate Dance Blue's mission. Before his passing, Jarrett created a list of requests to ensure his efforts would continue in his wake. One of these requests was to raise funds for improving the Pediatric Oncology Outpatient Clinic at Kentucky Children's Hospital. This request, along with the crucial guidance and vision of Jennifer Minier and Susanna Denemy, ultimately culminated in Dance Blue, the University of Kentucky's very own dance marathon. In its first year, Dance Blue was able to raise $123,323.16 for the Golden Matrix Fund and the Marquee Cancer Center, breaking all fundraising records for a first year dance marathon event. Throughout the years, Dance Blue has continued to grow and has ultimately become one of the university's greatest traditions. On behalf of Dance Blue and Jared's Legacy, we want to say thank you for your unwavering support and allowing for Dance Blue's continued success throughout the past 16 years. Without you all, Dance Blue would not be the indomitable force it is today. I'm Caroline. I'm Grace. And I'm Reed, and we are your Adopt Family Coordinators for Dance Blue 2021. Together, we've compiled a number of videos that might offer you a bit of inspiration and provide a deeper glimpse into what we have been doing all year round to ensure the momentum driving Dance Blue did not waver. This year, we have come up with new and innovative ways to offer our support to the families in the Dance Blue Clinic who have been more vulnerable than ever before in the face of COVID-19. What we've learned this year will transcend throughout years to come, allowing us to extend our support to families that live further away and reminding us that in the face of unforeseen obstacles, Dance Blue can adapt and overcome. So as a member of morale committee, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about why I'm so excited for this year's marathon. So two years ago, I was a first time dancer um, in DB19 and I showed up to a 24 hour dance marathon with a bottle of water and two Advil. And I said, that'll cover me for 24 hours. Turns out, you know, it didn't. Um, but throughout the marathon, I kept seeing just absolute veteran marathon studs. People have done it before, they had their tennis balls, their icy hot, their sweat rags, et cetera, et cetera. And I was blown away because these people have clearly done this before. Um, they know something I don't, but here is the coolest thing about this marathon is that nobody's done this before. Nobody can do the marathon any better than the other. We're all on the same playing field here. And I think that's so cool. This might be the first time in history besides the very first one that this has happened. Um, and this is a historic dance blue that we're living through here, guys. And I am excited to experience this with you guys. And, you know, normally dance blue is looked at as, what team are you on? Oh, this is my morale team. Oh, this is my club team. This is my sorority team, fraternity team. To me, we're all on the same team here. Um, and I think that that's gonna be just such a new and exciting look at dance blue. And I can't wait to experience it with all of you guys. Hey, what's up, Dance Blue? My name is Alec. Uh, I am a second year morale leader, and uh, I'm here to talk to you guys about just some things to keep you going. So, I got first involved with Dance Blue back in 2013, coming to watch my cousin here uh, do it for the first time. And from that moment, I knew that I wanted to be involved in it. So, as soon as I got here freshman year, I started fundraising, was able to dance as a dancer my freshman year, and then since then, I've been on morale committee. And uh, for me, it's just another way to keep me involved and keep me going and just another reason to keep fighting for these kids. Uh, as one of the people that is supposed to be energetic and all this uh, and all that during this time, 
Uh, I have to say that like, you know, it's gonna be different, but we are still planning this marathon for everyone's enjoyment for you guys to get through. And uh, my advice to the dancers for this year, just use what I use to uh, keep going, stay motivated. At the end of the day, we're changing kids' lives and those kids get to smile again one day because of us. So don't give up, you guys got this, so keep pushing through. See ya. Hi, I'm Andy McMillan and I am morale coordinator for Dance Blue 2021. As the hype group of the marathon, morale this year is truly motivated by what we experienced in quarantine over the past year. Uh, how many times we complained about being locked in our houses for months, not being able to see more people, and even complaining about things like masks. We have been reminded that some of the kids in the clinic have been in quarantine for years of their childhood. They've been wearing masks as long as they can remember and they're immunocompromised and can't see visitors all the time. They can't see the people they love or want to see. And even throughout this quarantine, they lost the privilege of visitors such as the Dance Blue visitors that bring a joy and a light into their world. And so this year we are truly motivated by remembering if we thought it was hard for the few months we had to do it, imagine what these kids have been going through for years. So we can't complain and we have to do our duty as Dance Blue members and just keep fighting for these kids, keep raising money, and just keep trying to improve the quality of life for them in the clinic. Hey guys, my name is Jacob Witt, um, and I'm on this year's Family Relations Committee. Uh, what are some words of encouragement for this year's dancers? All right, folks. <clears throat> well, I know this year's a little different. Uh, we're online. We are via Zoom, which doesn't mean that we are not gonna have fun today. At the end of the day, we're still dancing for the same reason as we do every single year. So why should it be any different? These kids, um, you are making a direct impact on their life and not just their life. You're giving that sense of comfort and love and joy and just compassion to their families and loved ones. You all dancing right now, inspire everyone around the Commonwealth to continue your work and to build on it. For me, when I saw the college kids, I was like, oh my gosh, that is the coolest thing ever. Um, I have to do it, I have to do it. I have to be a part of it. And there are gonna be people that watch this um, and they're gonna be inspired to do some act of kindness, some something that's gonna spread positivity. So right now, I want you to go Look at yourself, or I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to say, I am a movement of positivity, love, and joy. And I am so glad that I get to be here today. I'm loving it. We're gonna have some more fun, um, and we're gonna finish out this marathon strong. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye. Hey everyone, my name's Claire and I'm on FR and my favorite memory from being on committee this year was definitely getting to write my pen pal back and forth. Specifically one time I had asked her what her favorite memory from 2020 was and she responded and said that her favorite memory from last year was when her sister was told that she didn't have cancer anymore. And not only is that literally the best news ever, but I think it's just a great reminder of why we're doing what we're doing and why we continue to do what we do. My name is Samantha Manner and I am a member of the Family Relations Committee for Dance Blue 2021. I got started with Dance Blue when I was a freshman and I saw the whole Dance Blue community coming together for the kiddos in the clinic and their families and they had so much enthusiasm, they had so much excitement and I said, this is something that I've just got to be a part of. And now my senior year, I am a part of the Family Relations Committee and I am absolutely having a blast. So one of my favorite memories this year has been getting to know my pen pal. That has been such a wonderful experience sending letters back and forth. And something that I really treasure is that she sent me a small little penguin in one of her letters. And now I bring that with me and keep it on my desk. And it's just something that's really special to me. And so my advice for dancers is, first of all, I'm so proud of you. You are doing amazing. Keep doing what you're doing. And my advice is to remember why you're doing this. Dance Blue means so much to our kiddos and the families in the clinic. And I'm just so proud of you. Keep on dancing, keep on going. You got this. Hi everyone. My name is Hannah and I am on the Family Relations Committee for Dance Blue this year. 
While this year has looked completely different than probably any of us could have ever imagined, it has still been extremely rewarding and sweet nonetheless. Dance Blue has provided me with a constant as well as a constant for these kids, and some of the sweetest memories that I've had this year have been riding back and forth to my pen pal and getting to experience so many milestones, such as going to school, having a birthday, finishing treatment, all of that fun stuff. And so it has been so rewarding and sweet, as well as one of the funniest things was my pen pal said that their favorite sport was slime, which I didn't even know that sliming was considered a sport, but it has been a real, really, really sweet to get to know these kids through bingo and through the parties, as well as the individual pen pals. My advice for the dancers this year is to keep on going and your hard work does not go unacknowledged. I know that it can be daunting and I know that this year, like I said, has been totally different than what any of us would have ever anticipated or what we would have thought that this year would look like, but your hard work is so, so important and the kids are so grateful for everything that you do. They do everything with a smile on their face and they are so, so thankful for all that you do and all of the hard work that you have put in to make Dance Blue what it is today. Hi, my name is Lexi Oates and I'm a sophomore on the Dance Blue Family Relations Committee. When I came to the University of Kentucky, I immediately knew that Dance Blue was a once in a lifetime opportunity for me to be a small token in serving the amazing families and kids involved. One of my favorite memories was with my pen pal. I sent her a template to color and cut a flat fanny so that she could take her on adventures with her. And I received a letter from my pen pal that said that she had a mishap with the scissors and her flat fanny now only has one arm and one leg but not to worry because her flat fanny can still go on so many adventures with her. I think this is a perfect metaphor that no matter the trials and tribulations that these kids go through, having a positive outlook will allow them to achieve anything that they set their hearts on. Dance Blue is love in its purest form, and I'm forever indebted to this organization for allowing me to gain a more positive perspective on life. Keep on dancing for the kids because you will never experience a more humbling achievement than this. Hey guys, it's Garen on FR. So I decided to apply for FR committee after my second dance blue because of the experience I had with my team's adopt a family kiddo that year. It was just so humbling and amazing and inspirational and it just completely changed my perspective on what we are able to do for these families in ways that we are able to change their lives just being students. So after I applied for FR, I have been able to give back in so many amazing ways. Some of my favorite memories of being on FR have been the Zoom themed parties that we do every holiday, we do like Valentine's Day, Halloween. And I just think it's so awesome to be able to come together and make crafts together and just like talk to these kids and learn about what inspires them and like what they like. I just absolutely look forward to it every single time we do it. Um, to the dancers this year, I would just remember that the work you all are doing goes above and beyond what you think it does. Like, and I have seen that firsthand being on FR this year, the personal impact that this organization has on so many families is just absolutely amazing. Even though the marathon is different this year, the root of what we do has stayed the same and that is just to act from love and kindness and compassion. And I know that you all have done an awesome job fundraising for these families and it just warms my heart so much. So remember to keep dancing and it's always for the kids. Hi everyone, my name is Millie and I'm a member of the Family Relations Committee on Dance Blue. It is no secret that this year has looked very different for all of us, including and especially the kids and their families in our Dance Blue clinic. Starting this year, I was really curious to see uh, exactly how it was that we'd be able to connect with those kids if we weren't gonna have the opportunity to be physically present with them or in the same room as them. Uh, but something that comes to mind right away has to be our Zoom parties. Those parties have given me a glimpse into uh, what connecting with them in the clinic has allowed me to do in previous years. And it has really been a way for us to continue to grow our bonds with them, show support to them, and still have so much fun. I remember going into that first Zoom party, we were all kind of trying to figure out how it worked, who was going to do which craft, at what time, 
Um, how can we work on the whiteboard on Zoom? Can everyone see it? Uh, but sure enough, we've gotten better and better at those things and the kids have absolutely loved it. And I think it's something we can definitely take forward into next year. It's allowed us to reach so many other kids that might not have gotten to come to a party we were having in person because they live so far away. Uh, so even though it has been a difficult and different year, we've definitely been able to kind of adapt and overcome. Um, and it's really allowed me again the chance to see just how strong those kids are, how brave they are, how willing they are, um, how adaptive they are. And that is just one way I have loved connecting with them over this year. Hey everyone, my name is Tom and I'm on the Dance Booth Family Relations Committee. I joined the Family Relations Committee last year because I wanted to have a sincere emotional impact on the kids and families in the clinic. I want to provide them the emotional support and friendship that they deserve going through what they're going through. I found out that Dance Booth really allows us students an avenue to make a difference in the families who are unfairly experiencing the everyday burden of cancer. My role on the Family Relations Committee has specifically taught me that actions are meaningful. Things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis can really have an impact on the lives of others and really brighten their day. One example is with me and my pen pal. We write letters uh, on a bi-weekly basis to each other and uh, it's a really fun time. We've really gotten to know each other and one time I wrote him a letter and made him a collage of me and my flat Stanley that I cut out and colored for him. And uh, when he was so excited when he received it that he um, told me all about how excited he was and he also um, made a collage back of him and his flat Stanley. So that was a really meaningful experience. I still have that hanging on my fridge. And to all you dancers out there, just for a little bit of inspiration, I want you guys to know that you guys are having this positive impact too. You guys are doing great, so keep it up. Hey everyone, my name is Bryce and I've had the honor and privilege to serve on Dance Blues Family Relations Committee this year. Uh, this year has been full of its ups and downs, as we all know, uh, but it's also provided me with some of the coolest moments I could have ever even imagined. Uh, through Family Relations, I've had the opportunity to participate in their pen pal program with the kids at the clinic. And my pen pal provided me with one of the most awesome and inspirational messages that I could have ever even asked for, and they have no idea how much it got to me and how, how inspirational it was. Uh, so a little background, we both love all kinds of sports, basketball, baseball, football, probably soccer. I don't know. If it's a sport on TV, we'll watch it. And we especially love, both of us love, Chicago Cubs baseball. Uh, but beyond uh, watching the game on TV, my pen pal, he really loves to play baseball as well. And we've sent a whole lot of letters uh, back and forth to each other throughout the school year. And there was one thing in one of them that really stuck out to me um, and really touched me. And that was the sentence, I can't wait to get back to playing baseball after treatments are over. And that really stuck with me. Um, so the message in this is kind of subtle, uh, but it's something that it's, it's really important to consider. And that's the fact that this kid is going through so much. Um, all the treatments and all the, the tough t days he may have, the only thing he can think of, and one of the biggest things he can think of that's on his mind, is baseball. And the message I want to leave you with is not only one that I hope gets through to you for the rest of the marathon, but one that you carry with you for years and years to come. And that's that things are better, there are better things to come. COVID has absolutely crushed my morale at some points this past year. Uh, classes have undoubtedly caused me a ton of stress, um, not just this year, but couple years for a couple years now um, but it could even be right now uh, doing this marathon your legs could be hurting you may be wondering why you just can't sit down for a minute um, what, what's the issue in that uh, but whatever's weighing on you whether it be the marathon uh, school COVID whatever it is just take a minute and try to find your baseball find what you're working towards find your positive uh, that you're working towards and just fight for it it's different for all of us but the light at the end of the tunnel that first baseball game back is going to be so worth it. So keep on dancing for the kids, and I promise you the end of this marathon is going to be amazing. Hi everybody, um, my name is Katherine Strahan, and um, I've had the honor this past year to be a member of the Family Relations Committee for Dance Blue, obviously. <laughs> the more you do it, and the more you dance, and the more um, you fundraise, and spend time kind of thinking about what you're actually dancing for, um, the more it impacted me. And I really didn't want to just be complacent 
and so I decided to apply to be on Family Relations. You know, FR has had to transition this year, as with everything in, in the world has had to transition. And I've gotten a big chance to work with um, the teens this year. Teenagers hold a special place in my heart. That It's such a pivotal point in people's lives. You can relate to these kids um, because, you know, we weren't, it wasn't that long ago that we were teens and we were in their position and at a couple of the teen parties we got to talk about Grey's Anatomy and how much we loved um, Patrick Dempsey and one teen has like four birds and a lot of us are scared of birds but it's so awesome to hear about their lives and it's just amazing how resilient they are and it's funny because you don't think about it but as much as you help these kids, they help you too. And you really, you know, I needed them as much as they need us. And they're so thankful for you. We're so thankful for you. And so, um, happy Dance Blue 2021. Hey y'all, my name is Kaylee Berlinmeyer and I'm the Teen Events Coordinator on the Family Relations Committee for Dance Blue 2021. As we all know, this year has been different. It's been weird. It's been challenging. There's been so many uncertain things, but one thing it's done is provided us with the amazing opportunity to love, celebrate, and support on our clinic families, teens, kids, in a whole new capacity. For teen events, it's been really special. We've um, moved on to virtual programming. We've had a pumpkin painting party, gingerbread decorating, Valentine's Day party, and a St. Patrick's Day bingo so far, which has been awesome. It's awesome to see the kids. It's awesome to remind them that regardless of the situation that's going on in the world, that Dance Blue is constant. Um, being able to be able to see their faces online, being able to spend time with them and connect with them has been such an amazing opportunity and something I'm so grateful for. Hi friends, my name is Jillian Center and I'm the Family Events Coordinator this year um, for Dance Blue. To plan the family parties, it was a little bit different this year. Um, especially because they were virtual and usually we're used to being in person. Um, but with the virtual parties, we ended up planning um, for different, doing different crafts and doing different activities. And of course, like with activities being virtual, um, it was a, we had to be a little bit creative with how we were gonna do those and what we were going to do. It ended up working out um, and being really fun with uh, us being creative on how we were going to approach these parties. I've had such a blast being family events coordinator and kind of, kind of like adjusting to how this year is going to go and planning for the future. Um, and I have also loved that we used to only have three family parties and this year um, we've had several more. We've included a St. Patrick's Day party, Cinco de Mayo, Valentine's Day, and we've also done a virtual bingo. Shout out to um, our inpatient coordinator and our clinic clinic activities coordinator so it's been a year of learning but it's been a great year and I'm so appreciative for the time that I've had on um, family relations committee hey everybody my name is Reagan Smith and this year I've had the honor of serving as the inpatient coordinator and beginning last summer um, the dance blue family relations committee and I embarked on a journey to understand what it might be like to serve patients that are in the hospital in addition to patients that we currently serve in the clinic so initially, we thought we might have the opportunity to go in the hospital and directly interact with our patients and families. But due to some restrictions, we learned that the best way to serve our patients and families would be on Zoom virtually. And the primary way that we've served our inpatients is through virtual bingo every week. And while we first started out, it was mostly just kind of getting a feel for interacting with these kids on bingo and ensuring that they have a fun time. But that's quickly evolved into uh, spice it up through music or having um, halftime games like charades or Simon Says or Pictionary. And I can tell you that kids have truly had a blast with this. I want to say I think throughout this whole process one key thing that the other volunteers and I have learned is the importance of resiliency and determination, which is something that the patients and families um, show throughout their um, some of their most difficult times that they're going through every single day. So I again want to thank you for being a part of Dance Blue this year. And while we might not be able to control the circumstances that we're currently dealing with, we can definitely um, take control of how you respond to those. So whatever challenges you might be facing right now during Dance Blue or in life in general, think back to the kids, think back to their families and how they respond to struggles and think about how, can we, how we can respond FTK. 
Hi, I'm Morgan and I'm the programming chair this year and our chair team will be the longest standing chair team in Dance Blues history and honestly just feel super cool that this year has been such a historic and different and unexpected year and getting the gift to serve the kids for even longer than expected has been the biggest blessing and the most honorable thing that I've been able to do so I'm going to be super sad when it's over but very happy that it happened. Hi guys, my name is Megan Wilkins and I'm the marketing chair for Dance Blue 2021. So this year's chair team will actually be the longest standing chair team in Dance Blue's history, which is absolutely crazy to think about. Um, typically the marathon would already be finished and there would be a new chair team selected by now. We've had to completely rework everything that Dance Blue typically does to fit virtual formats and that was something really special because we got to learn how to just think through things differently and grow in that way. So this year was not what I expected and originally not even what I wanted for my marketing chair year, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. It has been so special. It's brought me so close to so many people and I think we've really gotten to make an impact in a time that so much was shut down and so many people just quit doing things. Dance Blue kept going and Dance Blue worked hard and continued providing for the kids and families and continued fostering support and community. And I think that is so, so incredibly special. And I'm so thankful to have served as the marketing chair this year. So keep on dancing, y'all. You got this. Hi. My name is Lucy and I'm the mini marathons chair this year for Dance Blue. Being on the longest standing chair team in Dance Blue's history so far feels pretty lucky to me. Despite all the terrible circumstances that are going on around us, this is my last year of Dance Blue and I have enjoyed every second and I am glad to have this extra time with my Dance Blue family. I could spend the rest of my life trying to give back everything that Dance Blue has given me in my four years. Hey guys, so this year's Dance Blue chair team has obviously been the longest serving chair team in the history of Dance Blue, and that's pretty awesome. Our team has bonded so much this year, probably even more so than in a regular year. It's been an exciting challenge trying to adapt our operations to the world of COVID. I think there are definitely some things we're gonna keep uh, you know, going with in the future, whether it's using a web-based platform for our silent auction or you know, reaching even more families across the state with virtual programming. It's been a heck of a ride, and I'm so, so proud of my fellow chairs this year. Hi everyone, my name is Lizzie and I'm the fundraising chair for Dance Blue 2021. So I guess we are um, the longest chair team in Dance Blue history. And honestly, it has been amazing. I have appreciated the extra time. I wish we didn't have it because of COVID, but it has been so awesome to just enjoy the position, enjoy working with committee and get to know the chair team and my coordinators better. So I think it has been really different to be you know, a cheer in this position, but I really enjoy the extra time uh, to let me settle into my role and really enjoy every single moment. So this year, we are the longest standing chair team in Dance Blue history. Today is our 16th marathon, our first ever virtual marathon. And to know that I've been a part of this historic year, it, I mean, it gives me chills. And it has been such a privilege to work with such a passionate, such such a servant-hearted group of people. People that wake up every single day and put in countless hours behind the scenes. Um, just working with this year's cheer team has been something that I will treasure for the rest of my life. I've seen what it looks like to give every single piece of yourself to other people. I've seen what it looks like uh, to be told no so many times that you know, it brings you to tears of frustration, but knowing what we do it for and who we do it for has made every single moment just something that I think we can all cherish. And it has not been an easy year. There have been so many times where we've had to recreate and reimagine what this year was going to look like. We've had to adapt to having a virtual 5K, a virtual silent auction to completely recreate our marathon, to recreate our volunteer program. Um, Everything's had to be redone, but we've all done it with these kids and these families at the center of everything. And every decision we make, we try to make it to best benefit the kids and families that we serve because they are why we here. They are why we are here. Um, and so this year has been really sweet, just working with this group of people, working with committee, coordinators, clinic staff that give their all to this organization. So 
it's been a really great year, even though it has been a year of no's. As our advisor Ellie says, it's been a year of so many yeses and so many blessings and sweet things and so much love and laughter and joy. Um, even though it may be through a computer screen, it has been one, one year that I will never forget. Hey dancers, my name is Kara Gore and I'm one of the social workers in the Dance Blue Kentucky Children's Hospital Hematology Oncology Clinic, better known as the Dance Blue Clinic. I just wanted to take a second to say thank you so much for all the amazing things that you have helped develop in the weirdest year ever, right? We've done some really amazing things with our families to serve at a time when they really needed support the most. You guys have been doing Zoom events and bingo and parties and mailing things and really just showing up at a time when everyone can be selfish and worry about how this is impacting them. You guys have selflessly stepped up to serve our families and we cannot thank you enough. So keep doing what you're doing and know that we are so thankful for you. Hi, I'm Jennifer Minear, one of the founders of Dance Blue. At the end of his short life, our son Jarrett asked us to do something to help the Kentucky Children's Hospital Oncology Clinic. We know that he never in a million years would have thought of what you guys, the UK student body, have been able to do and continue to do year after year. There's going to be a lot of things about this year that you want to forget. We all want to forget. But I hope that Dance Blue and the lives that you've impacted daily and the dedication to keep Dance Blue values and accomplishments and dreams going, despite all the insanity of this pandemic. I hope that that stays with you for a long time. Because you see, what you're doing, we, all the families, will remember for a lifetime. We hope to see you next year for Dance Blue 2022. Whether you'll be a participant or you'll be an alum, you're part of the Dance Blue family. And we thank you for everything that you've done, for hanging in there, for keeping up with your motivation, for continuing to help and always, always being FTK, keeping the kids of Kentucky that are battling cancer at the forefront. They don't get to take a break from the pandemic. And we thank you for always remembering them. And I just want to thank you guys for helping us go for this dance. Yes. I, I love you so much. <laughs> dance Blue, you guys are amazing. Thank you. We are making history. You, right now, in this marathon, are making Dance Blue history. We are doing a virtual marathon and still not giving up on the mission. We are helping these kids. We are raising as much money as we can because we are FTK till the freaking end, until the battle is won. We're making history.